Hello and welcome to my show. I'm your girl, Melody Trice. And you know I'm all about living life unlimited. So one thing I want you to know is today we're going to talk about the long, hard truth. So you definitely want to stay tuned to this episode. So we'll be right back after this break. This is what high blood pressure looks like. Talk with your doctor to create a treatment plan that works for you. Go to loweryourhbp.org. Hello, everybody, and welcome back. Well, you know I do be having my moments, so I want you to watch one of my Melody moments. You know, and one of the things that I'm seeing happening in, you know, in the entertainment industry is diversity. Yeah. What people are seeing themselves on TV. And as an athlete, you know, seeing so much happening, what do that mean to you to just, you know, for the Latino community to see themselves on TV? I think it's really good because in America, you had, it was white dominant. And then later, um, people started to feel so sorry for us black people. They started to put us in movies, and then like a lot of other ethnicities were kind of not um, getting the same type of uh, recognition or opportunities, and everything was unbalanced. Now things is becoming more diverse. Um, I'm not a big fan of forcing diversity. I'm a big fan of just being natural. Just be you. Be you. I'm naturally diverse, right? <laughs> yeah. But it's, it's very important to do that now because of the, how unbalanced everything was you know, uh, over the years, so. Well, you know, one of the things, too, I think about is, is the things you're working on yourself. So could you just let us know a little bit of what you're doing yourself? Well, right now, I'm um, Cool Arrow Productions, one of the production producers on the, on the film. I right, saw so I own a little bit of the company. Congratulations. So thank you, that's exciting. And then um, also, I um, just love giving back. Like, I'm doing a lot of business now, whatever the case may be, but that's not as important to me as being a philanthropist. Yeah. Well, that means a lot because, you know, to see someone of your caliber to give back to the community is always a, a good plus. Can you just, you know, give everybody a shout out and just let them know your social media so they can stay following yeah. you? Follow me, metaworldpeace.com. I used to be called Ronald Tess, and I also changed my name to the Panda, but not legally, <laughs> okay? So now that we got that straight, follow me on metaworldpeace.com. That's it. <laughs> Don't go nowhere else. <laughs> well, I appreciate you so much, and we look forward to seeing some. Welcome back. I am so excited that you are joining me right now because you know I'm all about life unlimited. Well, I have my special guest here to tell you about the long, hard truth. So let's welcome my special guest, Karen Robinson, and her cast with her. Hello. Hello, beautiful. I am so excited to have you on the show today, and thank you for coming. Thank you for having us. Thank well, you. Well, you know, we want to talk about your monologue and so many things. I've heard so many amazing things about it and talking about the long, hard truth. So really, you know, really where the concept came from, the Lone Heart Truth and, and you know, all this male cash you got going on right here. I know, I have a okay, lot going on. Okay, all this male behind, goodness, right? okay. <laughs> well, um, the Lone Heart Truth is a stage production and it's 10 men that are on stage uh, talking about everything from relationships to uh, marriage uh, to things that happen in the community and they're just bringing you a real and raw show wow. it's very very powerful and i'm just so so excited that we're on this journey doing this well wow. you know one of the things i think about the fact is that you know you have all male cast yes you know when you was writing this mm -hmm. because where did the inspiration come? You know, at that time of your life, what, where, where did it say, okay, you know what, I need to write this story? Well, just the state of our black men and what's been happening to them and what's been happening in the community. I just wanted to use my gifts to start the healing process mm -hmm. and to start to help. And I think that's the beauty of the performing arts that we can uh, bring awareness and, and, and bring empowerment 
through through performing arts. Wow. And yeah. you know, when you say performing arts and being on a the theater, I think that's so amazing because that's natural talent. Yeah. Because yeah. you have to stay in that moment like literally the whole time. Well that's you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Well that's why you get good actors. Okay. <laughs> and you know, I think when you say that I think about that. So when you got ready to choose those cast members, uh -huh. what was you looking for? I was just looking for I'm a feeler. Okay, mm -hmm. I like to feel. I'm a very passionate woman. And so um, some of the monologues I actually wrote for some of them, and then the rest I cast. Wow. And like, for instance, when um, Adris Degas came and auditioned for me, I was so blown away. And I didn't have his the monologue written yet, and I was like, oh my God, I need to write something for him. And that night... I went home and I birthed his monologue. Wow! So yeah. you drew inspiration yes. from just the audition. From I'm the saying. auditions, and then, um, like the rest of them, when they came in to audition, I was like, "You're it!" Wow! Because I felt it in here. I felt it in my heart. Some of them gave me chill bumps, and I wow. was like, "Yes, you are cat. You're hired. You're hired. <laughs> okay, and you can't be fired." Yeah, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Think about that. I, you know, that's so amazing because yes. a lot of times, especially as a black woman, yeah. so many things are happening now for women in yeah. general. Yeah. But to see a woman of color make it happen and give that opportunity, what did that mean to you to say, I'm that woman? Oh, man, I'm, I'm just honored and I'm blessed to be in this uh, position to do that. I didn't think that when we debuted the show last year we would sell out six times and it would be so well received by everyone and just to have these men these strong black beautiful men have my back and they're literally changing lives one show at a time wow. I am just blessed and honored to have these guys with me wow and you know what I appreciate all of you because just hearing what you're saying and seeing the opportunity that you're giving them because I'm all about life unlimited yes. and I'm seeing that you're showing people everywhere look you're not limited to what no. they say about you no, no. you know it's more to what it is yes. and if you follow our journey you're gonna see that that's right well you that's know what? Right. I want everybody to stay tuned because a little bit more we got some more we want to talk oh some yeah more, we're girl. talking about the long okay, hard truth we're talking today. about the long hard <laughs> truth so you guys you stay tuned we'll be right back we'll be right back This is what high blood pressure looks like. Talk with your doctor to create a treatment plan that works for you. Go to loweryourhbp.org. Hello everybody and welcome back. I am so excited that you're watching because we are here with Karen Robeson, all about the long, hard truth. Yes. So, you know, as a black woman in the industry, tell us a little bit about your background that qualify you to say, you know what, I'm qualified to do what I'm doing. Well, um, I started in theater at about five, six years old. My parents always kept me in theater arts uh, summer camps and stuff like that wow. and then um, I done it through high school I went to college and got my bachelor's degree in it um, and a minor in communications and then I just been pretty much doing it ever since I've been more on the acting and singing side of it and so um, this is my first time actually going behind the scenes and wow. being the creator and I am having so much fun. <laughs> wow. But you know what? That totally qualify you. It's almost like you was getting led up to that moment. Yes. Because, yes. you know, in order to direct 
actors, you have to really know what an actor thinking. Yes, yes. You know, and to yeah. know that moment like you was talking about earlier. And so when mm -hmm. you see so many other black women out there making happen, you know, so many movements happening and really seeing diversity happen. Yeah. What did that mean to you to say my film is a part of that? My my play Oh, I just spoke the film. And you just, well, yes, we're okay. working on that, too. Right, right man. <laughs> you right on. Okay, I just put it all in the atmosphere, okay. <laughs> you know, so when you say, you know, the, the play, right, the play as of now, yes. and you are being a part of this movement, what did that mean to you? I am... <laughs> I know, speechless. I, I'm just, I, I'm speechless. I'm, I'm, I'm really excited because... It's no limit to what the long, hard truth is and where we're going. And we're more yes. than just a stage play. We're going to be doing films. We're going to be doing conferences. We want to bring the world together to put these beautiful men on these platforms and give them a voice to be heard. Yes. And, and that's the good thing about the long, hard truth. When people come and see the show, they sit down and they hold you hostage for an hour and 30 minutes wow. and they spill their hearts out their souls out and they leave it on the stage i promise everybody that comes and see the show you will not leave the same well you know what the six sold out times is an example <laughs> <laughs> it's good you know and you know with writing it and, and the the moments you had in it yeah. you know being home thinking about those times like i did this you know what I'm yeah. saying? And, and having those moments and walking out by faith. Because yes. you, you was talking to me earlier and was talking about this was really a faith walk. Yes, so tell us about the journey of that faith walk. Well, um, I decided to do the long, hard truth. The idea came in November of 2017. Wow. I wrote the show January. No, I'm sorry. Um it was uh, November of 2016. Wow. I wrote the show January 2017, and we put the show up April 2017. Wow. And when you say faith-based, that's all I had. I just, I had a vision that God gave me, and I executed that. And even in the journey of the process of writing it, the characters, they're all based on true stories. Mm. Okay, from stories of my father, my grandfather, men that I that I know, and I would be up. And once I would start writing the monologue, I couldn't stop. Mm -hmm. So I would be up until like three, four o'clock in the morning wow. because it was like they wouldn't get out my head until I finished it. So wow. every monologue that I wrote, I didn't. It wasn't a, a a thing. I start and then oh, I'll come back to it another time. It was like these stories were so strong that I had to get it out. Wow. Right then and there. Just like Tobias's um, monologue, you have to come to the show to yes. see his opening line. But I was like, do you, talking to the character, do you really want me to say that? Wow. And he was like, yep, say it. <laughs> and so I was just writing it. And yeah, that's how a lot of the monologues were birthed. Wow. Well, you know what? When you say the word birth, you was pregnant with that. Yes, truth. yes, wow. yes. You know, yeah. and that truth needed to be out. Yes. And it was particular people who had to speak that truth. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, I think about that. You can't speak someone else's truth unless you find that truth for yourself, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know? And yeah. I think that's so amazing. Yes. Well, one of the things about it, I want to watch some of this truth. Yes. So can everybody turn around? Because we want to watch Alone, Heart Truth. We want to watch it right now. Let's take a look. Words start to exchange, and things got heat. So I went in the house to get my strength in case something pop off. When all of a sudden, I heard a gunshot. So we run outside to see what happened. And everybody's just running and screaming. Let me like, see, bro. No! 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 But in the beginning of creation, God made man and female. For this reason, a man shall leave his father and mother and 
the reason that is every other week. Family vacation shit. It was all. I was living in a shelter juggling three jobs. I had to be resilient. That's something that you can't teach. This is what high blood pressure looks like. Talk with your doctor to create a treatment plan that works for you. Go to loweryourhbp.org. Hello, everybody. I know you enjoyed that. Oh my God. I just got to talk to you about those monologues and those characters. Yes. So, you know, with choosing each one of them and them just finding that place, you know, where did you find that place? What did it take for you to say, this is who I am at this moment for this particular character? Hmm. All right, well, I'll um, give you the edited version. <laughs> <laughs> um, coming from a Meisner technique background, mm -hmm. uh, in order to give birth to this character, I was able methodology mm. to go to a grave site wow. and to pull up that character to unleash its performance on stage wow. in order to feel it, to empower it, and to develop it. And uh, that's what you'll see on stage. Wow. And you know, in watching that clip, seeing so much emotion when you say that, I mean, it takes a lot to go to the grave site and say, you know what, I want to pull from this and, and of right. course, it, it, it drew the people in. So, yes, you know, did. with taking those characters to another level, right? Yes. And being up there on stage. Yes. What did that feel like? You know what I'm saying? Of, of just delivering that to your audience. It's a feeling like no other. Wow. Um, <laughs> it's a certain high. Wow. That you receive as an actor. And what you're trying to give the audience is a healing bomb because art reflects reality. And you become the mirror of humanity wow. so that they can look at themselves to see what actions that need to be taken upon to validate their actions, That's you see. True. So it's a high, it's a satisfaction for an actor to be that pillar, mm -hmm. to give to the audience, this is what it is, and this is what it is to be corrected. Wow. You know, when you say that, I think of so many things because a lot of people want to see someone that amplify their life, whether it's good or bad or indifferent, just so they don't feel separated from the world, Correct. you know? Mm -hmm. And so by you all doing a particular character that's showing a man in a different light, mm -hmm. when you left and went home, what did that feel like to say, you know what, I just left from performing this, but now you off that high. Mm -hmm. What, what mm -hmm. steps did you take to go back to your to who you are on your day-to-day -day life. I never left the high. <laughs> <laughs> I, um, I'm Tobias Green, I play the angry monologue. Okay. And in this monologue, um, when she sent me the information, I was just like, oh wow. wow. This was a story in my life. Mm -hmm. And so I knew that then it was God that brought that peace wow. to me. Mm. And so I knew that the healing began there. Mm. It began then when I got the script and I said, I don't have no choice but to do it because I hear God telling me that. Wow. I hear God saying, I need to hear you, my son. Wow. But I also hear him saying that people need to be healed by the story. Wow. So when you use something that's true and authentic and real, it's going to heal you and it's going to heal people. <laughs> and so I, I can't leave the high because the high is me. Wow. And so deep. it's the truth. And it's, it's, it, you don't have to work on something that's, that's really in you. And wow. there was something that was really, really in me. And well, you know, when you say that, I think about the fact of, you know, living life unlimited and, and the fact of, of people taking the initiative to say, you know what? I don't want to be bound by something. Mm. And it seems to me that this play is showing that reality that I am bound. When you say what you just said, I didn't leave the high. Mm -hmm. I stayed in, in that moment because I lived that. Mm -hmm. So that means someone actually have never, they didn't even realize that was a part of them. Mm -hmm. I didn't know I was angry, but now I know that this is a part of me. And you know, I think about also, you know, um, as a male, as a black male, 
especially with the industry the way it is now, so much diversity. What did it feel like for you to say, you know what, I am a part of this movement. I want men to see that we as men can be done in another light. What was, what did it feel like for you? Um, hello, uh, hey. my name is Frederick Samaj and I play the um, Black Lives Matter portion of the, of the monologues. Um, it, feels it feels amazing. Uh, to be a part of a production of all black men. I've never been in a production with all black men. It's the first. Wow. And I've been in numerous plays here in L.A. Mm -hmm. And to be led by a beautiful black sister yes. that God put a vision in her head. So um, Karen reached out to me. They had done the show six times before. I've just added on to the cast. And she presented an uh, uh, opportunity for me. And as he said, there, was any, there wasn't any separation. Okay? Um, when I read it, it was coincide with how I'm living my life. Wow. I'm a single dad, and so the, the, the morals and support I get from these gentlemen, I'm able to take in my own life. Wow. And place those upon my daughter, and it, it's like a, it's, it's a great marriage. So wow. there is no separation. And I think that's what the, um, the, the audience will, will, will gather and, and leave with, that we all are empowered. Uh, some of us are on stage for a little bit, but the life is the stage. Wow. And there's well, no more waiting. Well, you know what? One of the things, and we're going to take a break, but one of the things I think about in life, and so, so much congratulations to you on everything you're doing, but one of the things that I know for a fact that everything dealing with life, if it's based on a true story, and I, you know, I get spiritual, but I just try to keep it real. You know, mm -hmm. anything that is based on true stories, people can relate to, yeah. and those things go to the top. You hear what I'm saying? Yes. Like it goes to the top because people are able to connect. Mm -hmm. And and that's like the word of God. You know, it connects to something in you that's penetrating and saying, okay, you know what? This is the long, hard truth. You may not want to hear it, but this is happening right now. You know what I'm saying? So I want to talk some more with you all. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. We'll be right back after this break. This is what high blood pressure looks like. Talk with your doctor to create a treatment plan that works for you. Go to loweryourhbp.org. And welcome back. I'm your girl Melody Trice, and I am here with the famous, amazing Karen Robinson and her cast. You know, before we leave, I really wanted to just hear from you know another one of your cast members. When you came aboard with Karen, you know what did that what did that mean to you to say you know what I'm here? Well, first of all, my name is Lamont Young, and I'm playing the broken monologue. Um, it mean it meant a lot to me first of all because I'm a I'm the only child in a house full of strong women. Mm -hmm. uh, my, my daughters are strong, my wife is strong, my sister's mom's strong. So when I first came and seen the, uh, the spirit that Karen possessed mm -hmm. and her intent for doing what she did, I had no option but to plug in whatever talents and gift God blessed me with into wow. what she was doing. Not only to be blessed by her, but to use whatever God blessed me with to be a blessing to her. Wow. And for me, that's what it was all about. I always find opportunities to plug in my gift to be a blessing for others. Mm -hmm. And that's what she was about. Wow. Well, Karen, one thing I will say is that, that from hearing what everyone's saying and, and things they're talking about, I can totally see you was praying all the way through this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> because God got you some, some back. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, and so with you, know, you being in this play, um, where do you see yourself going from here, since you know, with your character that you was in? 
Yeah, well, first of all, my name is Lewis Cameron Jack III. I'm playing the empty monologue in this play. And uh, I see myself going to higher heights because in this production, um, to play this empty role, uh, you're searching for a pat on the back. You're searching for validation. And as humans, the biggest mistake we make is we get so frustrated over things we can't control. You know, But it doesn't mean we don't have the right to be frustrated. And um, learning from this play and this role, um, I see so many different um, avenues to, for me to go forward. So I'm just very happy to be a part of this production. And um, she's done a wonderful job in writing and directing this. So, yeah. Wow. So I want to ask Karen this question uh, real quick um, before we leave. What would you say was the, the biggest challenge for you in this production? <laughs> Managing 10 men. <laughs> Yes, yes. <laughs> oh, I mean, well, listen, yeah. it was managing, you know, the 10 men. And, and I say that in honesty, but it was a thing that I was bringing 11 strangers together. Wow. And, you know, with different uh, personalities and stuff like that. But then once we got to know each other, we became family. Oh, wow. And I cannot even see myself, like, you know, taking this journey without these guys. They have just really, really been a, a big blessing to me. Wow. Yeah. And you know what? I think it takes a strong woman, as he was saying, in order to, you know, especially manage men. Um, because, you know, I think, it, you know, women, I think it would have been a little bit more challenging. It is. <laughs> you know what I'm it saying? Is. Because of the, you know, whatever. I'm not going to talk about this, but anyway. <laughs> um, but, you know, to just do that, I, I commend you so much. But, you know, I know you're on tour. You're doing a lot of things. Yes. And before we leave, I would love for you to let everybody know how they can just stay following you on your social media. And they also can see who the cast are. And then they can find ways to follow them as well. Okay. Well, um, you guys can follow us at The Long Hard Truth on Instagram and also at Mahogany Girl Productions on Instagram. And that will have a link on there to the website. And you can go on and find out when our upcoming shows are, our appearances and events, because we do a lot. And I just personally want to say thank you so Aww. much for having us here. And it's always good to be in the presence of a beautiful Talented, mm. strong black woman as well. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? She be trying to make a girl cry. <laughs> well, you know, I appreciate all of you. You know, mm -hmm. I wanted to get to everybody, but, you know, time. But I appreciate you so much for coming. We wish you nothing but the best. And hopefully as time goes, especially when you get ready to do the film part of yes. it, we can have you guys come back and uh talk about the journey of it because truly people do need to hear it. And before we leave, can you just tell everybody an encouraging word that you would give to those men out there in the world so that they know that the Lone Heart Truth is really is the truth? I would tell the men out there, no matter what color you are, be empowered, be inspired. We love you. We honor you. You mean something to us despite what society may say. And we got your back. And I just want to send that love out to you guys and, and just know that this project is for you. And I hope that I'm honoring you in the most highest form that I possibly can and that you will be proud of this body of work I've created. Wow. Well, with that being said, can the church say amen? Amen. <laughs> well, look, I thank you so much, and I appreciate everybody watching. Make sure you follow them on all their social media. Make sure you follow me on all my social media. I'm on everything, y'all. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat. Yep, Snapchat. I said it. Google Plus, all of it. Just Google me. Till next time, I'm your girl, Melody Trice, and keep living life unlimited. Bye-bye. <laughs> That's right, y'all, right? Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>